the tax rate in the city of St. John's is going up by almost 10%. And when you add on top of that the fact that housing prices are also up, that means the average tax bill is about 12 or 13% higher next year. What does that work out to? Well, for an average home that's worth about $300,000, that's an extra $250 a year that they'll be paying. The city says it knows that people are facing a lot of cost pressures, but it had to increase rates in order to keep up with its own cost increases. We fully understand the impact on that. You know, for a senior citizen, that's a, that's a major issue, a major challenge, somebody on a fixed income. We get that and we understand that. But we also got a responsibility to maintain our infrastructure, maintain our programs and services. We're hearing very loudly from the community that they want, they want the snow clearing maintained, they want sidewalk snow clearing maintained. And we're trying to do all these pieces and balance it out. So where's all that extra money going? Well, some of it's going to the snow clearing budget. It's up by about 25% this year. A lot of that is to buy new snow clearing equipment. The stuff they have is old and it's often out of service and needs a lot of repairs. So the hope is that new modern equipment will mean it's out on the streets when it's needed during those storms. There's also extra money going for St. John's Sports and Entertainment. It runs the Mary Brown Center and the Convention Center. It's been struggling to attract big name performers since the pandemic, so that extra money is just to make up for the fact that it's not able to bring in the revenue it needs in order to keep it running. And another big increase is to the budget used for repairing city streets. It's up by about 20%, and unfortunately that doesn't mean 20% more road resurfacing, that's just to cover the extra costs. As we're putting out tenders, doing work, uh, doing our own work ourselves with you know, the cost of asphalt, the cost of concrete up, cost of repairs and maintenance up. It's not something that we can control. This is money we have to invest. So if we see the burst pipe somewhere, we got to go fix it. If there's damage done, we have to go fix it. One area that the city is cutting is Metrobus, ironically because usage is way up over where it was before the pandemic. Because usage is up, that means fares are also up, so it's cutting the subsidy needed in order to run the service. But Councillor Ron Ellsworth promises that there are plans underway to try and figure out where to enhance that service, and the city will come up with some extra money in order to make that happen. Peter Cowan, CBC News, St. John's.